X-Air filter separators and oil removal filters are equipped with a float actuated automatic drain located in the bottom of the filter bowl housing. This simple mechanism usually operates maintenance free emptying any accumulated liquid from the bowl on a regular basis. Occasionally though something can happen to make the float drain leak by. Mechanical agitation, debris lodging, large pressure transients, even jarring during shipping can cause this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to correct it quickly and easily. First, depressurize the line that your filter is installed in. Then, using a strap wrench, unthread the bowl from the filter head, turning counterclockwise as viewed from below. I'm going to use the Model 9004 automatic drain filter separator since it has a clear polycarbonate bowl so we can see what's going on inside. All of our other filters have a metallic bowl, but the float drains are very similar. With the bowl removed, use a pair of pliers to unthread the float drain from the bowl, turning clockwise as viewed from the bottom. Remove the float drain from the bowl and check for proper operation. The float should move up and down freely. If it doesn't, continue disassembly by removing the wire spring from the top of the body. The float comes off and the spring retainer comes out. This is where you should find any debris, misalignment, loose parts, etc. The float drain can then be reassembled, simply reversing the steps. Make sure that the hole in the spring retainer lines up with the slot and hole in the top of the body. Put the float back in place and reinstall the wire spring through the slot in the body, the hole in the spring retainer, and the hole opposite the slot in the body. The wire spring then clips in place on top of the float. Now the spring has a very slight bend. Make sure that it's installed so that the bend is facing up as shown here. Once the float drain is properly reassembled, it can be installed back in the bowl. Tighten it securely by threading counterclockwise as viewed from the bottom. Reinstall the bowl, tighten it securely using a strap wrench, threading clockwise as viewed from below. Slowly repressurize the system and check for leaks. If this doesn't work for you, or if you have any other questions or concerns, please contact an application engineer for further assistance. Thanks for watching.